So Gaurav, so. Uh, welcome Gaurav with a big applause. Thank you, Prem, for those kind words. Today, uh, Valentine's Day, election ka mahol bhi hai. So I thought ki we'll start with some light moment. Kuch shairi se chalu karte hain. Ek bahut achhi shairi suni maine. To aise hi Valentine's Day tha aur uh, uh, pati ne patni ko phone karke kaha ki shaam ko bahar dinner pe jayenge. To shaam ko pati ghar pe aaye. Patni wife was getting ready. So pati ne kaha ki ye ye sajdaz ye shingar. क्या इरादा है सरकार ये सजदज ये श्रृंगार क्या इरादा है सरकार ये सुनकर पत्नी गुस्सा होकर बोली ये सुनकर पत्नी गुस्सा होकर बोली आप हमें कुछ भी कहिए पर सरकार मत कहिए आप हमें कुछ भी कहिए पर सरकार मत कहिए हम भी अखबार पढ़ते हैं सरकार कैसी होती है पता है हम भी अखबार पढ़ते हैं सरकार कैसी होती है पता है अगर दोबारा सरकार कहेंगे तो हमारा तो कुछ ना बिगड़ेगा लेकिन आपके हाल हिंदुस्तान जैसे होंगे दिस इज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड जयेश चितलिया ही सेज दिस प्रेडी ऑफन एंड आज के लिए वैलेंटाइंस डे भी था इलेक्शन का माहौल भी है तो मैंने कहा कि इससे चालू करते हैं मेरा टॉपिक आज का है सस्टेनिंग लॉन्ग टर्म प्रॉफिटेबल रिलेशनशिप इसको थोड़ा ट्विस्ट करना जरूरी है Is Hindi okay or English? Sorry, I'm just jumping. But do I speak it? both? I'll, I'll keep changing between Hindi and English. So I'll do both. Don't worry. So I'm not getting that, but I'll manage. So I'll keep switching between Hindi and English. Or if कहीं पर आपको जरूरत लगी कि आपने हिंदी में explain किया है, English में कीजिए, या English में किया है, Hindi में कीजिए. तो चलेगा प्रेम ने आके मुझे कहा कि सम ऑफ दम फ्रॉम साउथ मुझे तमिल नहीं आती तो तमिल के बारे में मत पूछिएगा दिस सस्टेनिंग लॉन्ग टर्म प्रॉफिटेबल रिलेशनशिप आइडियली इट शुड रीड एज रिलेशनशिप सस्टेन फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म बिकम प्रॉफिटेबल प्लीज राइट दिस टाउन इट्स नॉट सस्टेनिंग लॉन्ग टर्म प्रॉफिटेबल रिलेशनशिप इट्स रिलेशनशिप सस्टेन फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म बिकम प्रॉफिटेबल lot many times when it comes to advisory when it comes to distribution we act as an hunter somebody very rightly said that a lot of financial distributors or advisors act as a hunter ek client ke paas gaye kuch advice diya kuch distribution kiya we get that client we move ahead unke paas gaye na gaye market ke depend hai ki nahi products aayi nahi aayi that's not the way it should be role of an advisor or even a distributor is like a farmer You, a farmer has a plot of land. वहाँ पे वो खेती बाड़ी करता है He sows seeds, he harvests them, and year after year after year he keeps reaping crop from that. That's the way we should be. In fact, over a period of time, that plot of land becomes his asset as well. In fact, in difficult times, he can even mortgage and raise money out of it. A hunter is somebody who is continuously on hunting. The thing that he hunts does not go on to become his asset. but somebody who is doing farming that plot of land goes on to your clients and the income that comes from that the relationships that you have with your clients should go on to become your assets these could these are intangible assets but these are the assets that will see you through in your best and the worst of the times look at them as something that you are creating long term assets for you don't be an hunter be a farmer फार्मर एक जो खेडूत है उसको टाइम लगता है खेती करने में उसकी उपज निकालने में लेकिन उसके बाद जब उपज आती है तो उसको काफ़ी फायदा होता है लंबे अरसे तक और वो पास ऑन भी कर सकता है अगली पेढ़ी ही पास इज ऑन दैट एंटायर थिंग टू नेक्स्ट जनरेशन अ हंटर कान डू दैट यू हैव टू सस्टेन दोज रिलेशनशिप्स आई गोट एंटायरली टॉक अबाउट टूडे ऑन सर्टन एस्पेक्ट्स ऑन हाउ this entire thing can be done some of my experiences some of the experiences that i have gained by interacting with nice people like you now going on to my presentation my first question is why do clients come to us hamare paas clients kyu aate hain anybody 
trust, service, sorry, to get, why do they need advice? Okay, solutions for his, for his problems, sorry, financial management, can we say they have some underlying anxieties? Is that the right thing why they come to us? They feel that they have these underlying anxieties, these concerns about their level of wealth, about the situation of their finances which are currently there. And if that's taken care of, then they'll be at peace. Is, is, my, is my voice too loud? Is it okay? Yeah. They, all clients who come to us have some underlying anxieties. And people have various kind of anxieties. Retiring clients have this anxiety that will I outlive money or will money outlive me? We need to address that anxiety. It's not always about returns. It's not always about Sensex going up and down. In fact, the other day, the next speaker after me is Amit Trivedi and one, uh, there was one particular session where we were together on panel and somebody from audience asked, is Sensex ka kya hoga? And Amit Trivedi very nicely passed on a note to me, saying that, is he worried about Sensex or is he worried about his stocks? Look at that. What happens if Sensex goes down, but his stocks go up? Will he be okay? So he, has, he does not have an anxiety about the market. He has anxiety about his own self. Clients come to us because they have underlying anxieties. Uh, just just uh, a fortnight ago, I had a very, very wealthy client coming in. I mean, we don't get such clients. We're extremely wealthy. Husband, wife in their mid-50s. And this is an extreme case, but I'm going to narrate this. Husband, wife in their mid-50s. And they had 14 real estates. 14 real estates across India. And total valuation around 25, 30 crores. It's not that all my clients have this kind of money. But this particular client or this particular couple had it. They have a daughter who's 18 years old. This daughter, when she was 12 years old, she was sent to UK. She's studying uh, some kind of fine arts. And now she's been there for the last six years. And now she's going to go to US and study further in fine arts in a subject. The anxiety client had was not about money. You can't be having anxiety about when you have 25, 30 crores. His anxiety was that how do I pass this wealth on to my daughter? She's not capable enough of managing it. She's not trained. What will happen if, if she gets into a, a relationship where somebody's just uh, meeting her for money? He's, they're saying, can we create a trust? Who will be the trustees? What can we do? I said, aapko paise ki anxiety hai ke paisa next pedi tak kaise jayega uski anxiety hai. And the anxiety was how will it and what happens under normal circumstances when we see somebody with so much money, we'll try and sell him one more product. That's what happens? Yes, because we are seeing a lot of money. And the moment you start selling one more product, that client is not going to come back to you. Because when he has this kind of money, there are enough number of people selling him products. But there isn't anybody who's addressing his anxiety. It's the anxiety which we need to address, and I will talk about it as to how we address. So uh, wait for my presentation uh, to, to go further. But it's that's what we need to address, to realize, to ensure that we have. Now, where, where do these anxieties come from? These anxieties come from insecurity. Because only when there is some kind of insecurity is when anxiety comes in. These are emotional aspects that I'm talking about. And I will go and talk about certain practical experiences which are straight away tangible. When I'm talking about emotions, it's intangible. But it's important that we realize those emotions of clients before we go on to tangible. Otherwise, what we'll do is we'll go on to keep doing number crunching. Most of us feel that by doing continuous number crunching and generating best of the returns, clients will stay with us. Somebody said we'll give good service. How do you define service? Are we sending forms on time? Are we collecting on time? Is that what we call service? Is it when client calls we go, is this what a service is? Everybody is offering. 
What is it that's different? The difference is that are you understanding and realizing the relationship that client has, these anxieties that client has, the insecurity, the kind of insecurities people have when somebody comes and says that I want huge amount of money for my daughter's marriage. A lot many times I feel that the amount of money that they are asking is really, really very huge. It's something beyond reach. How many times you have seen people borrowing money for marriage? Many people take loans, and why do they do that? Marriage ceremony doesn't cost that much. Then we end up saying that people are doing show off, materialism ka zamana hai. Agar aapke pair failte nahi, to fir kyun itna kharch karte ho? Yes, that's what as a planner we'll feel. We'll do something which is practical, which is number driven. Sir, aapki itni amdani hai. This is what you can afford. This is loan to uh, value ratio. This is your liability to asset ratio. All those whatever ratios that we have to do. Has anybody asked client, ke, sir, please batayen ki itna kharcha kyun karna hai? See the kind of insights. I had this couple coming to me. And they said, ke, hume fikar hai. कि अगर हम बराबर खर्चा नहीं करेंगे और शादी के बाद बेटी जब ससुराल जाएगी तो ससुराल वाले बेटे को कुछ सुनाएंगे तो नहीं लुक एट द एंजाइटी दिस कपल हैज व्हाट हैपेंस इफ इन दैट फैमिली देयर इज समबडी एल्स हु हैज स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ मनी लेविश अमाउंट ऑफ मनी ऑन मैरिज विल माय डॉटर बी सक्लूडेड सक्लूडेड नाउ दैट्स द इनसिक्योरिटी दैट वी हैव Now, then, if we get into preaching, saying that don't spend, spend, loan, nay, lena, chahiye. Yes, financially, that is what we should be doing. But we can do that provided we know the underlying anxiety and we explain the repercussions of doing these actions. We need to know that. We ought to know that. हमे पता होना चाहिए कि उनकी anxiety क्या है. हमे पता होना चाहिए कि उनकी insecurity क्या है. Insecurity of getting. kind of spoken bad about insecurity about samaj kya baat karega aur uske bare mein aap kitna bhi gyan do agar wo insecurity hai to hai wo aap unko bata sakte hain iske repercussions but you can't straight away take away that in fact that's not even our role we are financial planners we are not psychologists we, we are not some counselors because we are not trained for that unless you are trained obviously you do that otherwise don't What are the kind of other kind of insecurities that come? Uh, I mean, I had this I had this client who is a chief justice, retired chief justice of India, very very respected chief justice of India, about 82 years of age, very honest one, and he, he has enough amount of assets, about 10 12 crores, and a lot of this has been earned after retirement because moment we hear judge and lot of money, we start getting wrong idea, but very clean judge. very respected judge it's just that after retirement he got a lot of international assignments and hence he has earned huge amount of wealth 82 years of age he is retired he is on a wheelchair he gets a lakh of rupees pension from government of india because chief justice recently for his ailment unki bimari ke liye unhe capsule recommend ki gayi jiski keemat hai 1600 rupya he has to take one capsule a month 1600 rupees wo fikar kar rahe the can i afford मैंने अगर इतना खर्च किया तो क्या होगा नॉट डू आई गो एंड डू नंबर क्रंचिंग इट्स जस्ट हिज इनसिक्योरिटी हिज इनसिक्योरिटी वॉज दैट नेवर इन माई लाइफ आई वॉन्ट टू डिपेंड ऑन एनी बडी और ये इनसिक्योरिटी क्यों है मालूम है ही सेट द मोमेंट आई स्टार्ट डिपेंडिंग टू ऑन एनी बडी आई लव टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन माई मॉरल ही सेट ऑल माई लाइफ आई हैव लिव विद माई हेड हाई बिकॉज ऑफ मी कपल ऑफ chief ministers and senior politicians had to resign because of judgments that i gave i have been i have been so many times called on the international courts of arbitration now today i don't want to even depend on my children because the moment i depend on anybody for money mera sar jhuk jayega isliye if i don't want if i don't have if i don't if i cannot afford a, a capture of 600 i will not take it but i will not compromise now do number crunching with this person and solve the problem We can't. We just can't do it, and we don't realize that. We feel 10 crore ki asset se ek lakh ka pension aata hai. Uh, you are a secured person, trustworthy. Kya farak padta hai? But we are not looking at that. We have to look at things which go beyond. This is again a leading doctor. 
बहुत रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर है मेरे क्लाइंट है लीडिंग ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन हालांकि अभी वो रिटायर हो गए ही कान डू सर्जरीज ही इज रिटायर्ड बट कंसल्टिंग चालू है काफ़ी आमदनी होती है एवरी एट टेन डेज ही कॉल्स मी अप गौरव मेरा टोटल पोर्टफोलियो का वैल्यूएशन कितना है अच्छा डॉक्टर वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू नो यू हैव इनफ मनी नहीं नहीं ये कुछ ऐसा तो नहीं होगा कि आई लव टू गो बैक टू सर्जरी यू नो आपको पता है मैं भी सर्जरी नहीं कर सकता ऐसे डॉक्टर डोंट वरी दीज आर द इनसिक्योरिटीज आर क्लाइंट्स है दे हैव एनजाइटीज एंड इनसिक्योरिटीज एंड अनलेस यू आर नॉट लुकिंग एट दोज एनजाइटीज एंड इनसिक्योरिटीज यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू क्रिएट अ लॉन्ग टर्म एसोसिएशन विथ योर क्लाइंट्स यू हैव टू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड अप अ लॉन्ग टर्म वैन गुड यू ट्रस्ट अ डॉक्टर when you trust him when he you're sure that when you go to him he is going to treat you and that's going to cure you aapki jo anxiety hai ki koi badi bimari hai ya nahi if that's getting treated by him you keep going to him and that's a long term association otherwise there is no long term association to have long term association the thing that you need to do is you need to ensure that you have a relationship with your client where you are resolving their anxieties and only a secured and a confident individual can calm the insecurity of others if you are not confident about your own profession don't expect ever that you will be able to calm others most of us are ourselves not secured about our own profession one regulation comes and we have whole lot of anxieties coming up one announcement comes and we are in turmoil something happens to stock market and we are in mess how come we are not confident about our own profession would you go to any professional who himself is not confident about his own profession lot many times people come and tell me ki mujhe to ulip nahi bechna tha lekin client asked me kya karu de diya it means you are not confident that this is not a good product and hence i should not recommend whether i lose client or not again giving example of a doctor how many of you all feel that if you go to a general practitioner and say give me a sleeping pill even if you don't need it he'll prescribe he is confident that this is what you don't need and he'll say you don't need this the moment you start telling your clients ki ye aapke liye hai ye aapke liye nahi hai this is not good for you and why it's because i am saying that is when you are confident only when you are confident when you are secured is when you'll be able to pass on that feeling to others i have lot many times people have come and told me gaurav your never, your recommendations about any of the investments are never in top 10 performing schemes they never there but we keep coming to you because we know that's taken in our interest simple so meri office mein i don't have this pressure of recommending clients best performing investment simple my life is simple as long as the trust has been created i actually have a reverse situation and trust me it's a brilliant situation clients actually tell me or they call me up and say ke karo ye bank ka relationship manager hai na ye mera sar khata hai i have to buy something usse kuch lena padega main usko kehta hu aapko phone kare aap jo kahenge wohi wo mujhe dega So relationship manager calls me up and I tell him that this fund is recommended you better sell this because I feel this is good for the client if you do anything else I'll not accept and that's what happens how many of you will love that situation relationship managers harass us because they themselves are not confident so wo to client ko jo bhi kuch bhi bech denge purely because they are insecure client ko ye chahiye agar client ne jo manga wo main nahi dunga to client chala jayega that's the insecurity they have and because they have this insecurity they will do anything i use confident there are there are lot many times it happens that we lose clients it's not ke sabhi client meri har ek baat sunte hain wo log chale jate hain lekin usme se kai aise bhi clients hain jo ek do teen saal ke baad mein wapas aate hain and then they say what you are saying was right it's a brilliant feeling it's the there's this uh, brilliant शेर शायरी विच इज़ इन गुजराती मूँ गुजराती में पहला कहीश थोड़ा थोड़ा गुजराती में आन आई ट्रांसलेट इन हिंदी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यॉल विषय हो श्रद्धा नो तो पुरावा क्या जरूर है विषय हो श्रद्धा नो तो पुरावा क्या जरूर है कुरान में क्या पय्यंबर सही है सो ऑल दो पिक्चर टप एंड 
That's what I'm, I'll translate this in Hindi and English, is that once there is trust and faith, you don't need proof. Once there is trust and faith, you don't need proof. In Quran, Paigambar is not signed saying this Quran is written by me. So that's Quran or Bible or Gita. Has anybody come and told us it's said by uh, Lord Krishna or uh, Jesus Christ or, and we are not, I'm neither of that. But that's the kind of faith that should be there. And you'll be able to create that faith only when you are confident about yourself. Now I come to my next part of presentation. Up till now what I've spoken is intangible. Now how to reach that stage? So I spoke about farming. I spoke about anxiety. I spoke about insecurity. And I also spoke about how a confident individual passes on that confidence, that security to others. But how does that come? How does an individual gain that kind of confidence whereby he can pass on that security? And these are now tangible things that I will speak about. Sorry, is there any timekeeper here? Who's going to tell me time? Okay, how much time do I have? What's my talk time? I have 20 minutes? Okay. Thanks. So you'll tell me every five, five minutes. Don't wait for last five minutes because once I get a mic, I don't like to leave. Yeah? Trait of a secured professional. Number one, qualified. Now this qualification bahut maayne rakhta hai aur alag alag logo ke liye alag alag maayne rakhta hai. Problem yehi hai ki we are so much exam oriented since childhood that any qualification that's there which is made mandatory we would want to go and clear that aur uske liye coaching classes karo tuition karo we go and clear qualification ka rubber stamp aa gaya that's it but that is not qualification so i have these whole lot of cap uh, certified planners who come to me and said, CFP ka thappa to hai, lekin financial plan likna nahi aata. Then they come to me and then they want to learn how to write financial plans. In fact, first initial batches of financial planners, we had tough time clearing those exams. Because the entire exam pattern was, how many are certified financial planners in the audience? Please put your hands up. Okay, quite a few of them. So they will know. What happens is that all of y'all have six modules, like us, but you end up appearing only for five exams. Am I correct? And all are objective exams. Now I'll tell you the initial batches. So, in fact, most of us you will see in media, you would see as speakers, because we were the ones who were grinded. I had to do six, I had to give six exams. Che exam deni padi thi. पहले पांच मॉड्यूल्स ऑब्जेक्टिव टेस्ट थे जैसे आप लोग दे रहे हो लेकिन छठा मॉड्यूल जो था वाज अ रिटर्न पेपर हमें पांच घंटे बैठ के फाइनेंशियल प्लान लिखना था फॉर फाइव आवर्स वी टू राइट हैंड राइट द फाइनेंशियल प्लान और वो प्लान लिखने के लिए ऑल ऑफ अस विदाउट एक्सेप्शन हैड प्रैक्टिस एटलीस्ट फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी प्लान विच मीन्स हम सभी ने वो फाइनल एग्जाम देने से पहले 75 से 100 घंटे तक फाइनेंशियल प्लान्स लिखे थे आफ्टर दैट वी वेंट एंड अपीयर फॉर द एग्जाम एंड मोस्ट ऑफ अस केम आउट ऑफ एग्जाम वर क्रिबिंग सेइंग वी कुड नॉट कंप्लीट आर पेपर एंड टुडे आई हैव होल लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु कम टू मी विथ अ रिक्वेस्ट सेइंग विल पे यू फीस वी वांट टू लर्न वी वांट टू कम एंड सेट वी वांट टू नो हाउ टू राइट फाइनेंशियल प्लान्स एंड इन आवर टाइम्स देयर वर नो कोचिंग क्लासेस because there was no batch before us who is going to teach us there were no tuition classes there were no classes at all now that's the meaning of qualification whatever qualification you take please don't take it because it's mandatory please don't take it because that is going to this is what you're going to put on your card as a rubber stamp and you'll start telling clients now i am so and so this is the fees when it comes to qualification you need to understand each and every aspect thoroughly. Problem is ke bachpan se exam ka that fear is so much that we want to get rid of that exam. We just want to come out of exam and say we have the mark. This is what regulator needs. This is what I have. Period. That's where it ends. 
that does not solve your problem. Only when you are thoroughly qualified is when you will, you will stick to fundamentals only when you are thoroughly qualified. Otherwise, you will start deviating based on conditions. Number one. Number two, experience. Now, this experience comes with time, obviously. Now, that's where I have another problem. I see a whole lot of distributors and advisors whom I keep meeting regularly in networking events. And that's brilliant. You must attend networking events. So I see people in Cafe Mutual and they're doing a wonderful job. Network FP, uh, Value Research does that. Uh, I think uh, Vijay Venkatraman does that. Uh, mutual funds do that. Please attend these events because that's networking and you learn a lot. But you should also attend and do same, same number of seminars where you interact with your target audience. People don't do that. In fact, I think Amit Bhai is speaking on, on uh, seminar marketing. It's very, very important. In fact, I, I jokingly say that wherever I see Prem Khatri, Sadik Neelgood, Amit Trivedi, Uma Shashikant, Vijay Venkatraman, is the place where I should not go. Because my target audience and their target audience is different. Their target audience is IFA community. My target audience is eventual user. Which means if I am doing as many number of events what they are doing in the same place, I am not being with my target audience. Please go to your target audience. And that's going to be an uncomfortable situation. I could have done hundreds of seminars. But in one seminar, one person will get up and ask me a question which I can't answer. He'll rip me apart. And I have done so many seminars, so many good applause mile hai. it's end of the day be on ground and that's the ground reality and that's where you get experience people don't do that people are afraid from talking you will have to speak if you want experience you will have to go and deal with those clients you will have to go and deal with your target audience and it doesn't matter how many people you get ek paanch das in fact somebody had said Gaurav, what happens if you have very less audience and i said jokingly I said, agar ek se jada hai, to I am better than Lord Krishna. Yeah, because unhone Gita kahi to ek hi tha, Arjun, and two virtual. So if I have more than one person, I am better than him. It doesn't matter. Don't miss any opportunity to interact with your target audience. So do these networking events. By all means, do these networking events. But the moment you start staying away from target audience you will not get experience listen to their complaints listen to their grievances it could be genuine it may not be genuine but that's the anxiety that person is facing how much time do i have 27 minutes so okay so please just keep telling me every five minutes it goes down you have to have that thought clarity are you clear? These are the fundamentals. Stick to those fundamentals. That will come with experience. That will come with education. But if you have only education for passing, if you don't have interaction, interaction nahi hai, you will not have thought clarity. And if you don't have that, you will not be able to communicate. You will have issue with that. These are tangibles that I am talking about to sustain long-term relationships. It's not about numbers. Numbers are needed and numbers are for you. But a common man, a client who comes to you is not so much familiar with this number. In fact, ek baat soche. Agar client ko numbers or products or analysis ke baare mein bahut jankari hai, aapke jitni hi jankari hai, then will they come to you? Why would they come to you? And we still keep talking about numbers to clients. We're not looking at it. Thought clarity, Communication and most important aspect. So there is no, it's not, it's not coming. My presentation is not there. Okay, so that's fine. I'll keep talking about it in any case. Uh, concern for well-being of others, very very important. Agar pehle charo characteristics or traits you develop nahi kar paaye. Lekin fir bhi, if you have concern for well-being of others, you will be, you will start gaining those. 
it's very very important that you have concern for well being of others client first is the most important thing that you should be having the moment you start compromising on that there is bound to be a problem and the moment you are looking at clients first your profit will come automatically you will start earning money automatically it will become by product your revenue should become by product client first is the main thing in fact on my business card i don't say i'm a financial planner i've never said that it doesn't even say my certification i don't have any it only says transforming financial lives that's what i'm concerned about i want to look at clients financial aspects and see how that can be transformed that's what needs to be done now when i talk about clients first what all things that you should be doing number 1 your role as an advisor or a distributor and have this complete clarity in your mind are you a advisor are you a distributor and there is nothing wrong in being distributor honestly i have said this in many forums there is nothing wrong in being distributor there is nothing wrong in being advisor what is not what is wrong is not knowing who you are there are people feel that i am a distributor and they want to be an advisor there are people feel they are advisor and then they end up as a distributor this confusion is a problem be clear what you want second is listen to clients and spend lot of time people who have been to my office and others are most invited there is a complete different kind of seating that we have in my office there is more like a sofa there are plants it's like you are sitting in a friend's living room because i want people to speak i don't speak a lot I speak outside. That's why I don't want to leave mic here when I go out to develop and watch me. Listen to them. Have empathy, not necessarily always sympathy, because you can't cry with every client. You'll go mad. Huh? Don't get into that. Because if you have three back-to-back -back meetings, you'll end up crying three times. It doesn't work that well. The first meeting you've cried, client goes, go wash your face, come back, cry again. No, no, that's that's not too prudent. You won't get clients. But listen to clients. People don't listen. even when they are listening what happens is they are interested in selling the next one that's what clients come and complain that's what they say that wo a bank wala hai he is interested in selling a product he is not even listening to me fully people don't listen you will not be able to sustain long term relationships if you are not listening to your client you have to listen to them you're not you're not always meeting them to get more business you are only meeting them to deal with their anxiety and insecurity you will have to look at that and be there when they need you don't wait for their calls now how would you know when they need you only when you have regular review meetings it's mandatory for all my clients to have quarterly review meetings it's mandatory in fact if they miss once or twice in a year sometimes we tell them we will not renew the contract because only when i'm meeting them regularly is when i know what's happening in their life quarterly meetings are not for getting more business quarterly meetings are to know what's happening in clients lives prem spoke about it please meet your clients regularly If you can't do quarterly review, you may want to do a six monthly review, but that's too 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 less of frequency. And it could be if a personal meeting can happen, great. If it can't, phone, Skype, whatever way it can happen, emails. Because otherwise, you will not know what changes that has occurred in clients' lives. When we meet for quarterly review, it's not only really investment performances that we discuss. When we meet for quarterly reviews, we discuss situations like career changes. if there is going to be any income or expense changes if there are any assets if there are any liabilities being created a lot of discussions take place and that's when you stay abreast with them that's when you will start knowing what's happening in your client's life well, there was this brilliant share that i read recently milna zaruri hai rishte banaye rakhne ke liye milna zaruri hai rishte banaye rakhne ke liye लगा कर तो पौधे भी बिछड़ जाते हैं संभालते नहीं तो सो इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी कीप लुकिंग आफ्टर आर क्लाइंट्स ऑन रेगुलर बेसिस अदरवाइज दैट एंटायर रिलेशनशिप विल गो फॉर अ टॉस 
and you have to meet them more so in turbulent times, in their transitions. And there can be two. How much time do I have? How much time do I have? Ten minutes more? Okay. I want other way. How much time I have, not how much is completed. It's okay. He told me ten minutes. That's okay. I'll still continue and if, if I finish early, I'll probably give some examples and we'll do Q&A. Uh, external volatility and internal turbulences. These are two things that will happen. External volatility could be volatility in economy, market conditions going up and down, political situation, geopolitical situation. There could be war. There could be known and unknown events that can take place, union budget. There could be some news saying that after 31st March, 500 rupee note will be out of circulation. These are external conditions, and that's when you need to be in touch with your clients. In fact, I'll read out an email that we had sent to our clients when in last year, during the month of August, September, when the entire thing was going topsy-turvy, when we had stock market crashing, interest rates going up, when we had gold going up and down and rupee depreciated. And this is the email that we send to all our clients. And we do this every time. We do this proactively. Because what we want is in worse times and difficult times, we want our client to speak to us. Because if your clients are not talking to you, they could be talking to media. They could be talking to colleagues and friends who are not qualified. So I'll read out that email that we sent, and we do this proactively. And here it says, and it's, it's a slightly longer email, but and if anybody wants this draft, though I would be happy if you all create on your own, feel free to write to me and I will share that with you. Greetings. Last few weeks had witnessed Mayam in economy. Stock market has tumbled, interest rates have gone up, gold prices fell and then moved up, Rupee has been depreciating against US dollar. All this has led to erosion in your portfolio and wealth. Erosion in hard earned wealth does create anxiety. However, if you look at things in perspective, it will be easier to deal with these turbulences. It's important that we put things and clients plan in perspective they'll be able to deal with these turbulences. See, as a planner, as a distributor, you can't take away those turbulences. But once you start putting things in perspective, they'll be at ease with it. With all our clients, we have had three prone approach. Approach of wealth protection, wealth accumulation, and wealth distribution. Firstly, we have always created contingency fund. We have ensured that all of y'all have three months mandatory reserve funds Lying. So in case there is any kind of income loss during this turbulence, or even if you're dependent on regular income from your portfolio, and if there's going to be any turbulence, there is enough contingency fund that you have. We are putting things in perspective for them. So we are making them feel confident. The next paragraph reads, all of you all have enough health cover. If during these turbulence times, if there's going to be any kind of ailment, there is health cover that you have through health insurance, and in some of your cases, it's through your employer. So you'll not be dependent on your portfolio. The third paragraph. In wealth accumulation for a strategy, we have always focused, and this is what I'm just telling you, but this is what is written here. In wealth accumulation strategy, first we have focused on loans, and we have ensured that either there are no loans or loans that you can manage. And we have also ensured that there are enough contingency reserves to meet those EMIs. Next paragraph. Coming to investments, we have always, without exception, focused on your financial goals. Not even once we have got into market timing and market trends. We continuously keep reviewing your financial goals and ensure that your portfolio is aligned to your goals. And therefore, all those who require money in next one year, their funds are parked in either short-term funds, liquid funds, ultra-short-term funds, or fixed deposits. And these funds do not have major impact with stock market going up and down, gold going up and down, 
even they are not highly impacted by interest rates going up and down. Clients whose goals are after within two to four years, we have recommended debt instruments like debt-based mutual funds. There could be some erosion in wealth based on interest rate movements, but two to four years would be enough even if interest rate goes down and NAV falls because there'll be some accrual and you'll be able to regain that. All those clients whose goals are after seven to nine years is to whom we have recommended equity and equity funds. If that money is required after seven to nine years, seven weeks of equity market falling should not worry you. You're just putting things in perspective. And that's what we kept saying. Then we came to the final part. And what we said was, in times like these, anxieties are normal. They get further fueled by rumors spread by panic-stricken acquaintances and media. Most of them comment on the developments in marketplace, which is external condition. Our philosophy has been to focus on your internal condition, your financial goals. To keep ourselves abreast with your internal condition, we have conducted quarterly review meetings with you on a regular basis. Because we were doing quarterly review meetings, we knew what had to be done in each client's situation. We have stood with you and will do so in difficult times. However, if you still have anxiety, please feel free to call us, write to us, and if there's still anxiety, come and meet us. This was sent to each and every client of ours. And this we keep doing it whenever times are difficult. Because that's when you need to stand with the clients. Prem spoke about this, that advisors and distributors move away in difficult times. And if that's what you're going to be doing, you're bound to have problems. When there are internal turbulences, turbulences or transitions, somebody is migrating from India to abroad, is when you need to be with that person more often. Keep talking to them. They're concerned what will happen to my wealth in India. When somebody is likely to retire, please keep talking to them. Probably if required, meet them every month. If required, do their cash flows calculations every month. You will not be paid extra for that, trust me. And don't even expect that more money to come to you. But be with them then. Be with them in their transitions. Be with them if you know that there's going to be a home loan being taken and they're going to buy a house. And believe me, we, for us to recommend somebody a home loan is very, very easy. But I know people who really worry saying that 10 years home loan, will I be able to take that? Will I be able to handle that? What happens if there is an income loss? Now that's the anxiety that person has. I, had this, I have this young single woman as my client and it took me two years to convince her that please take a home loan and buy a house. She was staying with her widow mother in a rented premises and she was very, very nervous. There has been tough meetings with her. At times I've made her cry, saying that I'm not going to consult, I'm not going to give you advice anymore. After two years, and I had done all possible calculations to ensure that more or less she'll be fine if she's taking 30% loan of the entire value of property. A brilliant career, qualified, employable. When she took her loan and when she bought her house, her mother wrote a letter to me saying, Gaurav, in our three generation, nobody has ever had a house of their own. We always lived in rented premises. It's because of your force and persistence that today I have a house. And then it, the letter went ahead and read that we will not do group Pravesh until you are there on that day. I don't need fees for this. It's just that I am being with them in that transition time. The clients who, migra who migrated to Dubai for some assignment. And so much of anxiety. It's the first assignment abroad. They probably haven't traveled abroad so much. And they want somebody to talk to them. And that's where your experience and qualification will come in handy. Now, if you have cleared your exam by going to a coaching class and if you have not studied, bad luck for you. If you have done, if you have not interacted with your target audience, you will not have experience of even seeing this. Tough luck for you. You will not be confident. And if you are not confident, you will not be able to pass on that security. And if you are not going to pass on that security, your clients will not feel secure. 
and then you will not be able to sustain long-term relationships. It's the long-term relationships which will get profits for you. Purely in your selfish interest. To be honest, in fact, the moment you start sustaining long-term relationships, the rapport with client is so much that profit is not even a concern. Because there's huge amount of job satisfaction that comes. This, this quarterly review in January, one of my clients, now, pretty wealthy client, well-to-do, secure job, wife is also working. And uh, <clears throat> in review, beginning of the review, he said, Gaurav, I want to go and shake hands with the entire team. I said, why? What happened? He's saying, no, it's because of you all that last year I could buy a car and I could also go on a foreign vacation without feeling guilty about it. So I wasn't understanding. I said, why? What happened? He said, I knew we had all the wealth. And we had enough money, but things were not put in perspective. There was no plan. There was no strategy. And people who did, they, they came and just sold us. They said, Ke, ye SI pe le lo, foreign trip jane ke liye, ye SI pe le lo, gaadi ke liye, ye karlo, wo karlo. But I had this anxiety. When I go on vacation, or I would always have anxiety. Main bahut to kharch nahi kar raha. Main kam kharch kar raha Should I splurge more? Gaadi le nahi thi, soch rahe the, ye saal le lo, next saal le lo, kya karo? Like in this year, when we did this, we knew you were with us. And you had thoroughly told us the anxieties that would come. We had actually planned quarter on quarter that we are going to go to the You had kept that aside. So when I was spending that money, I didn't feel guilty about it. When I went and picked up that car, I didn't feel sad about it. It was planned. And you all were talking. Your entire team was talking to me. When I had to do redemption, they spoke to me and they said, you have to go. You need money, start doing redemption. Y'all were talking, y'all were there. I want to, he went and thanked the entire team. He gave us sweets for going abroad on a vacation. Very funny, I mean, I was like, what is this? But that's the way it works. Trust me, it's the long-term sustainability. And even if this is not there, imagine, I mean, I've read this, this brilliant thing, which says that if you don't take care of your customers, someone else will. Yeah? So, Please take care of your customers. And if there are any questions, I'll take on. Thank you so much. If there are any questions, I'll take on. Otherwise, no questions? OK, thank you. Uh, thank you, Gaurav. Uh, uh, Gaurav brings uh, wealth of experience, and thank you so much for sharing it with all of us. Okay. This is really, really, really appreciated from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, I strongly believed in this particular theme that uh, uh, IFAs need to really cultivate their clients, and you've really done justice to the job today. May I invite Benes Kumar, National Sales Head of Sundaram, to come and give us a token, to give him a token of appreciation.